Hi everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel, Electro Study. This is lecture series 6 under introduction to IoT dealing with sensing types. Come let's go into the video. Please do like, share, subscribe and comment. So we all know what a sensor, what the sensor does. Now getting into the types of uh, sensing done by the sensor, we'll see a small introduction of how a sensor reacts when it is sensing. So, see the sensor is actually prone to external influences. So, if there is any changes in the environment that is prone to the changes, the sensor will change its type accordingly. Okay, maybe it will be directly affected or indirectly affected but it is influenced by the external sources. And the output values of the sensor keeps changing. How it keeps changing is the sensitivity of the sensor plays the major role. So when the sensitivity of the sensor is high, there will be many deviation that is occurring in the output values. Say for example, sensor, see when you are using semiconductor based sensor, they are influenced by temperature of their environment or humidity of the environment or soil content of the environment, air surrounding in the environment. So these are some of the examples to which the sensor are sensitively active to the atmosphere, right? So there are four kinds of sensing, scalar sensing, multimedia sensing, hybrid sensing and virtual sensing, right? So getting in detail, what is scalar sensing? So scalar sensing is nothing but see here you can see an event fire happening in an environment and the temperature sensor is measuring that temperature of temperature of that environment. So why it is called as scalar sensing is it is used to measure the scalar quantities. So scalar quantities is like uh, measuring the uh, light, humidity, pressure, temperature, all these are scalar quantities. So when a sensor is measuring a scalar quantities, then it is said to be a scalar sensor. So here the scalar sensor, it measures the change amplitude with respect to the time. Say for 10 minutes, what is the amplitude? So with respect to the time, it keeps on measuring the amplitude of the measured values, right? So these are the kind of scalar quantities that you can see temperature current pressure rainfall light humidity flux so these are some of the main scalar values or quantities that we are considering where the scalar sensor senses all these kind of changes right next is multimedia sensing so multimedia sensing is see here you have an environment which is having uh, trees and plants and you have a surveillance that is done by the camera. So here the camera becomes a sensor. It is surveillancing the entire environment. So what happens in scalar sensor? We were measuring the scalar quantities. So in multimedia sensor what happens is it is capturing the changes in the amplitude. So in scalar quantities you are measuring the amplitude with respect to time. In multimedia sensing, you are capturing the changes in the amplitude, right? So these quantities, like if it is multimedia sensing, it can be a uh, sensing image, direction, flow, speed, acceleration, sound. So such kind of things, quantities can be measured by the multimedia sensing. So here you will be measuring both the direction and also the magnitude around the environment, okay? So, getting into hybrid sensing. What is hybrid sensing? Sensor sensing is measuring the scalar values. Scalar sensing is measuring scalar values. Multimedia is measuring images and changes in the amplitude. So, hybrid sensing is nothing but it is used for measuring both scalar and vector quantities. That is happening in the environment. So best example that you can give for hybrid sensing is agricultural field. You can test the soil, how it is, whether the soil is best suited for particular plant to be cultivated, how the plant health is, is the water enough in, the, in a particular place for the plant to grow. So all these can be done by hybrid sensing. See here, you have both vector and a scalar quantity together which is called as hybrid sensing. So sensors such as soil moisture, soil temperature, uh, measuring of water, whether the soil uh, can 
retain the water for the plant to grow so all such kind of sensors will be used so this will determine whether the plant is getting enough water to grow perfectly there may be a host of other factors like our water availability which may affect a plant health see some plants needs a lot of water to grow some plants doesn't need water at all without the water it starts growing with the help of the sunlight so you have to see there there are different hosts to be seen whether the water is enough or water availability is not needed all those kinds can be monitored using this hybrid sensing okay so here the cam uh, the camera which is used as a sensor is able to determine the actual condition of the plant so it keeps on monitoring the plant even if there is a small change in the color of the leaf it can be detected so th this can be this hybrid sensing can be otherwise used in smart parking system traffic management system all these kind of system you can use this hybrid sensors and finally you're coming into virtual sensing see here you have some pipettes uh, uh, with the different values so what is happening here here is if the sensors in a field uh, where like you you can take a former agriculture field okay uh, it is highly like uh, that the measurements from the this virtual sensors will be able to provide you the correct measurements of each field see you have one field here one field here and another one field here so all these field is processing different temperature say suppose it is processing different temperature so this virtual sensing will precisely tell you what uh, field is providing you what kind of temperature say suppose if the data from this a field is digitized uh, it, it is digital using uh, using iot infrastructure you are digitalizing the output of the field a okay and the appropriate uh, watering fertilizers pesticides all those are required for that a field is done okay and this can be same used by the b field it can be again used by the b field for maintaining the crops at the same level so in short how you can explain is this sensor uh, the sensor used in a field or being used for actual measurements of parameters so you can tell that for this it is testing whether the plant is growing and based on that it is used in other all fields based on the actual measurements so in such kind of field you are using virtual sensing method so hope you have understood all these kinds of sensing methods stay tuned for further information thank you